Hi there, I'm going to show you some quick tips for sh showing a PowerPoint over Zoom. If you've got a bunch of participants, it might be students, part of a class, or a, um, you know, possible applicants, or for an open evening, or any kind of activity. But anything you want to show PowerPoint over a class that has embedded video in it, and you want the participants to be able to see and hear the video as well. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few options and tips. The first one will be close your email program so that you don't get interrupted with notifications. So I'm going to close my window and that's Outlook gone. And you might also need to make sure that your notifications are disabled as well, just so that the session isn't interrupted with beeps and other noises from your system. Um, now, by default, I've already modified this but by default when you are showing PowerPoint it does this it will take over your whole window and suddenly you can't see zoom and you're struggling to get forward and back between PowerPoint and zoom to to manage what's going on so the first thing is that you can really go to the slideshow options and set up the slideshow and change it so it's going to be shown in a window instead of taking over the whole screen click OK there and now when I go to show the presentation it stays in its window so that's a good start so I've still got zoom and I can still do the different participant management things or have the zoom chat window open or other things that are going to be useful to help manage the zoom session as well now to share the presentation all I need to do is go to share screen now I've ticked a couple of options here that are automatically normally unticked so you need to make sure that these are going to be ticked when you choose it. I recommend not sharing the whole screen but just share the PowerPoint window itself. That means you can have other programs open at the same time and those won't be seen by your participants. So you might have uh, just some notes or a Word document with some text or some things you want to refer to during the presentation and you can have that open as well and the participants will just see the PowerPoint slideshow. Now I've ticked these but by default these are unticked but you need these if you've got video. Share computer sound and you can also choose optimised screen sh uh, sharing for, for video clip. This one isn't as necessary but if you don't share computer sound then your participants will see your video but they won't hear it. So if I can tick those options, click share and the zoom window's kind of rearranged itself and um, but we can still bring up um, our chat and participant management screens and the other screens as well that we want so more and there's the chat so we could have the chat window open as well at the side alongside the PowerPoint and then the participants can type in messages and you know put, you know put their questions to you in the chat while you're going through the present the the presentation and I can do the presentation as normal with PowerPoint and I can have it play video for example now it would be worthwhile let me just pause this a second checking that your participants can hear this so in some cases you might find that you need to restart the video uh, or you might want to double check using the menu options up here that share computer sound is ticked so if the participants can't hear maybe something's gone wrong and you forgot to check that box and that option has not been been picked so that's where you will find it under more share computer sound on the in the zoom options um, th they do sometimes rearrange these menus as they change versions so you might have to hunt around it a little bit for it first and you can also do what I'm doing here which is test it out without any participants before you actually have to give the presentation to participants so when you've got all these settings set up the next time you go into the presentation and share your screen it should have the same settings which will be useful because then you don't need to faff around finding them again uh, so a couple of little tips there hopefully that's useful for some people 
struggling trying to figure out how on a small screen how they can do a PowerPoint and manage Zoom at the same time. Uh, and and for the video for your students to or participants to hear it as well. That's all. Simple as that.